And there's no big surprise that we see Guan Yu banned out, but we'll see right here going into the second game of round three. Most Wanted versus Elevator, or set three. There you go. That's what I said earlier. I know, I'm sorry. I just like the word round. Well, things have changed now, because obviously Most Wanted being first picked this time, it changed the priority order from both these two teams as well. We may see some differences happen. Elevate, I still think, will ban Zeus. And if Most Wanted are smart here, they wouldn't ban anything important unless their first ban, because it guarantees themselves something decent at first pick. So Elevate are going to have to ban out Guan Yu if they don't want Most Wanted to take it, because if they prioritize it, that's going to be the first thing snagged up. But Elevate getting rid of the Nemesis first. The surprising thing for Most Wanted there is banning Terra. That tells me that Matt Coyce doesn't play this god or he doesn't like this god. There's no reason to ban Terra there, and there's no reason to ban Guan Yu unless you're really after something very important as your first pick, which I think is going to be, they want Zeus, but they're not going to get it. Maybe they go Susano, I don't know. I mean, they like Zeus, Rat, Robin, big picks here, Vulcan as well. Don't give Truancy Vulcan. I mean, Truancy Vulcan was good that game, but at yeah. the same time, it didn't look like he made that much of an impact overall. It felt like a team unity thing. I don't think they would be too worried looking back at how Vulcan played there as the biggest impact in that game. But there it is. Most wanted picking up the Vulcan instead of giving that to Elevate. Could probably going to go to Clow. Surprised with that because now you can see Jumper get Susano one more time, and he had a pretty good game on that. And Nico would actually, that's surprising to see him lock in tier that early. Wow. I mean, he likes the tier. We saw it last week. We saw it last game. We're going to see it again today. I'm just surprised by how early the pick was. I mean, he could have left that a little bit later on there. True. It's not likely that Wolves is going to want to take tier right now. He first picked Robin game one. Why would he change it up this game? Exactly. And Robin is still available if he wants to go ahead and snag that for himself. We have seen good Song Wukong play, but Athena locked in for Elevate. Nice global presence and the taunt. So we're three picks deep, and Al Kwong is still available for both these two teams to look at picking up for themselves. Still haven't. If most wanted, don't pick it here. I could see Elevate actually taking that, especially now that they've got Athena and Tear on that roster. A lot of protection for the Al Kwong and allow them to be the front line, which allows Al Kwong to dive in and out. I mean, the peel protection for that guaranteed execute would be huge for Elevate, but we are going to see the Robin picked up from Most Wanted. I'm curious to see. I don't, I don't know if Jumpo likes Al Kwong. It should be. An, I feel like it should be an Al Kwong. At this level of play, you should be able to play all the junglers at a decent level. Yeah. And Al Kwong should really be the pick here. They've got a counter ban phase as well to ban out some things that can de cause issues for Al Kwong here as well. Instead, they're not going to go for that, which means I'm very surprised more than anything else that they did that. You did want to see a Kronos last game, though, so you're going to see one this time at least. Well, I would have liked to have seen it maybe on the side of Transactics, but he's going to go back into, away from Sol into Jingwei here. A bit more of an aggressive god, something I'd like to see a little bit more than the sort of Sol who sits at the back and just pokes when she can. Just a little bit. Geb banned out for Elevate. Susano banned out for Most Wanted. Both of these teams like it. Most Wanted don't want to take it, don't want to give it. I mean, Al Kwong's still available for Elevate if they want to go that route. They will get the next pick after the Caravan phase. We'll see if Most Wanted recognize that, though, or even worried about it in this game. I guess against a Vulcan, though, it's not the easiest thing to play the Al Kwong overall. Rat going to be prioritized over the Al Kwong ban instead. I mean, there's so much power in being able to pick yourself up, rotate wherever you want, even if your on-ground rotations aren't that great. You're still able to go out and help, but Freya going to be banned out by Most Wanted. Surprised by that Freya ban by Most Wanted. I mean, Elevate already have Kronos. Do you really want Kronos and Freya on the same squad? You're a very late game team comp. Maybe with Reinforced Grease being online, they're worried about the games going too late and having too high per carry mages. But by doing that, you kind of pigeonhole your whole composition into you've got to do damage with mages and you've got to have physical junglers. And you don't want to, because then you're going to get shut down. Teams are going to see that from a mile away. Yeah. As soon as you know that this focus is on one thing, that's the only thing they're going to be looking at. Kumba Karna locked in for Elevate, and that's a Sobek. So surprised they left junglers to last pick both these two teams here. A lot of things were available. Some of them have now been shut down because of this. Susano, Rat, and Nemesis predominantly. For Al Kwong available, I keep saying it, as well as we've got some Thor up and available one more time. And the Hombats again, which we could see Sinusho go back to. I mean, it definitely worked out in some plays, but instead it's going to be in a wheelish, looking for those knockups coming out from the Sobek tail whips, looking for the agility off of Jingwei. And Vulcan Meatballs, too. This mm. is a whole comp designed by Most Wanted for knockups. But knockups for days. But that is an Al Kwong being hovered over, at least, locked in for Team Elevate, possibly. I don't know about this composition, though. Going against that, I don't think it's a wise idea to pick that one up. All right, was it wiser than Nox? Athena jungle. Okay. Now I understand where that was going. So I saw the Kumba Karna. I was thinking about him more, but Nox is in mid. Combined with Athena, that's a really good combo, as well as Kumba Karna. They have a lot of setup with this Nox, but it's difficult to execute. CC for days, however. You're going to force out so many mm. purifications, so many baits. 
Yes and no. I mean, the one issue Nox has overall is the patch on the ground takes a long time to detonate, and to confirm the root damage as well, you have to land the root. If you miss the root, you're useless. And most people will just walk out of the silence. Now, how do you confirm the silence damage? Well, you have Kumbakana Ultimate to set you up, or you have Athena Taunt, because even if you try and purify, you can't purify if you actually... It's like, if your purification's down, you are dead after a taunt silence combo. Nick, we're gonna get plucked, but then gonna get a nice two-man fearless, forcing him to pick that up early on, though, but they're gonna keep going. Sinus are looking for it, but as soon as that knocks, as soon as that knocks ability pops, they're gonna back off. Yeah, nothing too special really happening there. The one thing that did happen is both teams got a little bit of a look at the opposition's relics more often than not there, and that's why you'll see immediately Koiz goes back to base, recognizing that um, Kubakana had meditation. He'll also pick one up to answer that. And I mean, you saw those deep wards. You know I love that speed buff ward. I love nothing more than having that early vision, seeing those rotations. I will preach it every day of the week. Yeah, those early wards do just allow you to keep an eye on the rotations. Are they doing the right and harpies? Are they coming straight to mid lane yet? What exactly is going on with them? Or is there any sort of invade coming out? But at the moment, it doesn't look like most want to go to place too many down themselves. No, I mean, vision's important, but sometimes you just don't need it this early on, especially if, like especially for most wanted. They put that word as soon as they saw that nothing fishy was happening. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about it. So instead, going to take the speed camp, rotate back over, take the other buff, and start the game. Now, Nox is very high risk, high reward in the mid lane played by Truancy here. He can do a lot of damage and a lot of control around the Gulf Fury, around the Fire Giant congested areas is where Nox will really shine. The problem is, though, is confirming that damage and making sure you land those roots. If you miss the roots, you're not going to get the damage from the silence either. How do you feel about this mid matchup? Because we don't see Nox often at all. How does she fare up against a Vulcan? For the most part, Cloud will have lane advantage, on, but he's just got to be respectful of wait for the silence to be put down on the ground. When Truancy throws out his two, he'll literally just have to put his turret down afterwards and get control based off it. That turret does allow him to clear counts very, very quickly. And most wanted singing that same song as last game, picking up those fire imps, picking up the right camp, and the left one is still on the board. And this is an advantage in the early game for them. They've got to be a little bit careful, though. Do them. Oh, I say be careful. Look at Koi's. Koi's might. Uh, Koi's getting a little. Uh, getting a little caught out there. A little bit of damage as well. Keegs and ripping holes, putting a lot of pressure onto the duo lane, but avoiding any follow-up. Now, level three for Elevate here in the mid lane. They do have damage potential, but they don't have kill potential here. The damage torn and to the silence and the root is good, but it's not going to get a kill as you see. That's all they can really do in an engagement half health someone. However, if Cloud now uses that purification like he did, the next taunt is going to be even more deadly. And the biggest thing is that that purification is down. 150 seconds. He is a sitting duck just like Nox right now. But the big thing is the engagement potential coming out from Elevate. They're going to rely heavily on Athena in this game. Kumba Kana going for meditate for ripping holes here. Doesn't have the blink to really get in range. Kumba will be for more pure duty. Athena will be for the initial aggression until Niquid on that tier gets into the scene. Now, isn't this a problem for having this Nox, especially pigeonholing everything around her being able to hit her abilities? I mean, it is, but then you've also got Kronos as well. So while they're looking at Nox and avoiding that, you've got Kronos that's still going to do a lot of damage in the late game. Keegs on that is very, very consistent on it as well and very, very useful on that Kronos. So that should come into play too. The only problem they've really got to worry about is when level 5 hits and how big of an impact Sinashore makes because he can go to pretty much any lane and find his ultimate. Jumpa already already getting most wanted scared. You saw how they backed off, but not scared enough to use the ultimate cloud. Gonna rip a lot of damage onto Jumpa in one feather steps. Gonna finish it off. First blood going to most wanted. And that's what happens against Nathina. You dash in like that and you don't find the combo. Well, if Nathina's a sitting duck, then you've used your escape. So then you're stuck in there. They use the Vulcan ultimate, not necessarily just for the damage, but the zone that Cloud put it in was to make sure he couldn't escape without getting hit by it. So you saw that Jumper would actually sit back and stay closer to them, allowing a Wheelix to put out a lot more damage. And I forget how slow Truancy with that with the Nox damage is. I, I don't see Nox often, so you forget it takes a little bit before it's going to pop. It so does. you really have to plan it. It can't just be automatic damage. And cooldown reliant as well. I mean, the three coming out from a Nox is mainly used for escape. You can use it for damage, but you only use it when it's a kill secure or to escape a fight more often than not. Not for any other reason. Now, there is a combo, which we've not mentioned just yet, but Truincy can jump inside Jumper, and Jumper can ult across the map to turn a 1v1 into a 3v1. It doesn't happen too often. We've seen it now and again, but that's the benefit of a Nox. And I mean, with... I mean, with Jumpa being able to rotate 
since he's jungle, we may see it more often than not. That mid and jungle synergy is super important when it comes to season three. It is possible, but they've got to be careful about leaving mid lane unprotected. And they will have this end ripping holes there. It's the right hand side here, the invade coming out from most wanted. Yeah, but Sinus are going to get a nice feather step over onto Nickwood, plus the root coming out from Wolves, but. Just no real kill potential yet. Just, just go, bullying. Yeah, just got bullied from most wanted. They're just trying to abuse the situation. That's what you want to do against a Guardian early on. Obviously, Athena only really has the shield wall for damage, but it's not enough, really, to push out the boys of most wanted. And the timing of the shield wall as well allows a Wheelix's feather step to avoid most of the damage. Damage avoidance is good, but I'm worried about Matt Coy's not going to be able to lock him down just yet. Don't want to aggress on him. Plus, he's really tanky. You're not going to be able to take out the Sobek just yet. You'd have to in you'd have to invest so much at this level to take down that Sobek. Yeah, I mean, you can in the early stages, but with those reinforced shoes still being a thing, they're very, very impactful at the moment. They can just wear the storm a little bit more in the earlier game. And they actually make Guardians a lot more tanky than they used to be at this stage of the game. I already seen these reinforced boots and reinforced shoes coming out. Three on the side of Most Wanted thus far. And that's just going to help continue the sustain, elongate these fights. Yeah, keeping them as long as possible. And then sustain back with the meditates, with the sickening strikes as well as time goes on. Clary in the mid lane, though, just farming up his Doom Mob, which he's gone for here. I like the idea for Doom Mob because it's going to be very hard for them to kill him early on, especially if he sits back in these engagements. And he doesn't have to worry about going forward because that's what Moncoy's job is to do, bring a target to him. And then it's going to surprise the heck out of you as soon as Cloud throws something out. He's got, he's already got 15 stacks. Yep. When he hits 50, it's going to hit you like a truck. But it's not only him as well. It's also the fact that Sinoshaw can pull someone in with the gravity surge as well after a knock-up that if Koi's does miss that, or even a meatball. So all Cloud's got to do is sit back and just allow his team to bring him kills. So how do you feel about this ADC matchup since we're looking at it right now? It's between the Jingwei and the Kronos. Hold on one second. Good taunt coming out from Jump Book. Matt Koi stuck in the damage but ripping holes trying to get a little bit of trying to get a little there bit of something go. here comes the ultimate he's gonna get rocked back in with the ultimate from a wheelish so the trade was pretty even between the two but Sinashaw really wants ripping holes ripping holes has his passive though and this might be a bit of a mistake from Sinashaw going for this passive so much luckily though he's got support and Sinashaw's able to walk away from that but they're trying to body block him trying to save him out cloud gonna get pulled and ripping holes going to die very quickly so one for zero exchange there goes the way you know of most wanted once again they invested a lot into ripping holes but now the passive's down, it makes the window a little bit better for them now. Next time they want to kill him, if Ripping Holes goes aggressive. You saw the combo though, Sinus Show, you know, going in there, finding the gravity surge, pulling it in, but mid lane. Nickwood used the ultimate, the Lawbringer over the camp. Worth it. Didn't connect. It's worth. Yeah, you know why? Why? Because Clow hit purification. He did. Mm -hmm. Scared out that purification. He missed it, but purification still came out. So as long as purification goes down, Nickwood's like win. Maybe it's an audio calculated, thing. Calculated, that's what it is. You hear it calculated. I used that one before. Yes. But Clow, I mean, maybe it's an audio thing. It's kind of like when you hear the Loki vanish and you freak out and you want to go ahead and get back. When you hear that Lawbringer start to charge up, you're coming over the wall. You're trying to back up as much as possible, but you don't know where he's coming. And you'd rather you'd rather hit that than get stunned out. Now, this is where I want to see Elevate go aggressive. Now, seven minutes in, I know it's still early game, but look at the purifications being down on Most Wanted. They have all three of their purifications down, two members without it as well. One decent taunt coming out here from Jumper into a combo from Truancy is somebody at half health guaranteed. If not, they could follow up even more with a combo corner epic up a cut. And they have no meditation either, so there's no sustain for the next 20 seconds. I don't know if they'd be able to to spark up something that quickly unless they brought Sobek into the fight. Matt Coy sitting here on the other side just watching this action. Now you mentioned to me about the duo lane here and we'll have a little tune in after Coy's watch his, his harpies go down. But the duo lane between the two, obviously Jingwei versus Kronos, both have sustain here and Jingwei a little bit more here on the side of Transonics just because he's gone for Devourer's Gauntlets which will help him sustain a little bit more as well as his passive which allows him to just go back to base again. Now what he's looking to do in this lane Transonics is chip away at Keeg's mate's health. Make sure he drops lower and lower without killing him or forcing the rewind, just so when he does rewind, he doesn't get back to full. Oh, Sinus in trouble. Yeah, it's just a little bit. He's going to get rotated by three members of good. Maz, epic uppercut. Truancy knows exactly where they're going to fall. Going to find the root and find the damage, but Matt is going to charge right back forward, looking for Truancy. Two-man knock up into the Wheelish ultimate once again. And who they're looking for is ripping holds again. He just gets knocked up over and over again. Ruggy strike up by him a minute. Meatball does not connect, however, and it's going to force Wolves all the way in for the kill, but I don't think Elevate 
they have an answer to this. Most Wanted are investing everything into continuing to bully Rippin' Holes. And now McCoy's charging forward. We're going to get stunned out for just a second, but they're going to keep charging after Keeg's mate. Not going to have any not gonna have any knox damage, and instead Wolves going to take out the Kronos, keep him from getting fed. Nikwe came from the back there, missed his fearless though onto Clow, and the boys and Most Wanted can just walk away. They end up getting two kills out of that one. They don't go for the Golf which I agree with. They're a little bit worried about, you know, the rotation now available from the tier and the funeral still being available. So head back to farming and actually pressure the lanes instead. I mean, and once you get comfortable, once you start looking for these rotations, Tyr doesn't have his teleport up for another 145 seconds. So as soon as Tyr gets involved in whatever he's doing, then Moswana can pick back up and go where they want. They don't have to worry about a wrath. They don't have to worry about the rotations just yet. So they're going to be in a good spot here in about a minute. But that was most wanted for the most part. They weren't the initial engages. It was actually Sinashaw getting caught out of position, if you think of the fight. They did a very good job of helping out their teammate, though. Rotated very quickly to support him. And by doing that, he turned the kill on its head completely. And we saw exactly what the issue is with Truancy there. He can get damage off, but it's not enough to get a kill on its own. If you had something else there, you could have potentially found a kill. Is this a problem coming out for Rip and Holes? Because he's, he's two kills down. He's not been able to engage like he was able to last time he's not able to get away with that anymore he's still stu doing the same thing he did like game one that's the difference the problem is is there's so many knockups that he has to use that like, groggy strike defensively now more often than not otherwise he's gonna go for a wild ride with the gravity surge every single time and I mean they've been on point a wheelish just is so good against all of these with this knockup comp we talked a lot about most wanted or we talked a lot about Elevate, but what can Most Wanted do with their comp? Just keep doing. Keep doing what they're doing right now. I mean, they're finding picks for free. They've got high rotation ability from Simon Shaw, as well as they have that Jing Wei over in the dual lane as well. Vulcan's able to secure the goal for themselves and keep them busy. And you've got Koi's in the front line that can just set and facilitate this whole team. I'm just watching, sitting here. They're rotating back over. They're going through the jungle. This is like the second time they've cycled through this side. These picks, they want to pick up Keegs, and Keegs is going to walk right into it. And Transonics looking for it, blocking off his blocking off his exit because he doesn't want to get knocked up with the agility. But Transonics is going to take a little bit of damage for his efforts. Yeah, Transonics is more than he wanted to, and Keegs actually walked away pretty much unharmed because the meatball didn't connect either from Cloud. The rest of the team, though, tried to focus onto the red buff instead was the choice there, which wasn't actually available. And, uh... A little bit of a solo fight coming out from Wolves and Nickwood, but they're really going to have too many issues there between the two of them. This is more the solo lane is trying to get to the action if the goal fury happens, but Wolves know he's got a time advantage on his, so he's going to head back to the solo lane knowing that his teleport will be up for the next fight. And meanwhile, Sandershaw still looking for picks. Sandershaw trying to find a feather step over onto Truancy, but going to be able to dash forward, hopping onto Suku, however. Big win. And then, yeah, beautiful, beautiful play coming out from Jumper because that damage is going to hurt if you're in that range when uh, when Athena comes down. Now, Truancy did still have purification available, so they can still use that taunt. Does connect, meanwhile, onto the right-hand side, and it's actually Sandershaw in trouble, still trying to 2v1 there. Vulcan Ultima is on the mark, but juked out by Truancy, and it's Sandershaw that's running for his life right now. He's getting some peel help from his boy Wolves, nice. and Juke's back into a meditate. The Juke shoes with the feather step. He's still alive, and the only one nearby is Nick Wood. Rip and Holes isn't going to be able to do anything. Sandershaw continues to regen that health right back up and then pulled Nickwood right back into the fight. The Feather Step's doing so much damage and Nickwood might lose his life. Just not able to find the Fearless is the biggest problem. Transonic's going to cut off his path of escape. Nickwood looking for cooldowns here so he can change stance and power cleave but not going to be allowed to by Koi's picked up again and look what else one they do. They don't go to gold, they head back to base again. Resustain, win these fights and Wolves is even haunting for more. And they're not in a bad position. They're six kills up. Elevate haven't been able to put themselves on the map yet, and we're 12 minutes and 34 seconds into the game. Yeah, and that's what Wolves is doing now. He's just making sure the jumper can come in and go aggressive onto Cloud, who was pushed up, trying to poke out those two in the mid lane here. But Truancy on the Nox. Right? We keep talking about Nox, it's something you don't see too often. Zero, zero, and zero. Damage in the game, 4K, which is about halfway, you know, halfway up the box yeah, here. Middle of the pack. But it's not enough to secure kills or even get assists. He's getting them to hard health, but he doesn't seem that much when he care. We might have a little bit of secure here with the Gold Fury going down. That's going to continue to put Most Wanted in a better position. What turned into two, what was about two, three thousand gold lead has now turned into four thousand four hundred. Every time I see a Nox in competitive player. 
I always think exactly the same way. And it's, this god is amazing, but it just takes so much to make it execute perfectly. And it's so difficult to make happen. And this seems to be the tale this game. 6-0 and o for Most Wanted. This was a different story last game. And if you don't have if you don't have these two gods here, or at least one of them to help just secure and make sure these abilities work, then what what can she do? Well, I mean, five on five straight up team fight here is a lot better from yeah. Elevate this game round. If they work as a whole team and unit and use these CCs together, they can pin them down. Most wanted though, much better at sporadic fights this time. Notice the difference in game one to game two. They were reversed last time round. Most wanted happy to take a sporadic fight because one tail whip could put someone way out of position thanks to gravity search. And most wanted. Completely different game so far than what we saw last time. They're very dominant, very calculated, or calculated. Truancy getting feather stepped, forced to dash away once again. That was just one, maybe two abilities between a Wheelish and Matt Coys together. But now he's out of the fight as well. There's more pressure available for Most Wanted on the map. The question is where they want to go. Tier one tower in the mid lane is an option for them. But with Athena and Copper there, it's very hard to beat down two Guardians to get to the tier one tower. I mean, they have a cup. They have a couple of options. They can take. They can keep looking to the jungle, which is what they've been doing for the past couple of times after these fights. They've already taken the gold free. That's not gonna be up for a while. It's too early for Fire Giant. So it's really gonna come down to these bigger engagements. Gonna jump up, trying to make a play happen onto Matt Coy's, getting all that root and stunning from Truancy, but no follow-up. No follow-up available. There's two Guardians and a Mage. They can't. On top of that, you're, they're attacking a Sobek there who's happy to. And actually forcing the Athena roll onto Keegs is very interesting on that left-hand side. Guess they were about Sinashaw's rotation was a reason there. And actually, Sinashaw got poked out. And now Transonic's in a bit of an awkward spot himself. Transonic's able to use that knock-up, however, to glide away versus Most Wanted coming right back into the fight. And Jumper looking so low. Transonic's reading where they're coming. It's so close, and they weren't able to knock it. And instead, that's going to be a mess, forcing out the purification coming out from the Jing Wei. But it absorbs the epic uppercut as well. Meanwhile, Koi's in the back is very low elevate. Niquet will pick that one up for himself and now being aggressed on by the mid and jungle composition. Wolves swinging around their back. Cheeky, cheeky, looking to get in the backside here. Not going to find anything though. It's Cumber on zone duty. If anything, it's just a stalled time. They they don't feel safe backing. Wolves is going to be able to take a t couple of tower shots. But all that did was allow their mid and jungle to get back to mid lane quicker, so it allowed them to put pressure on the tier one tower in mid. That whole fight in left hand side works out so well for Most Wanted. They play the map positional advantage when Nikwit's around the back. Nikwit coming around the back, but then going to be able to get Transonic's couple hits, and he's going to have to glide away once again. Cloud on the back line, however, not really being able to do too much because Elevate keep turtling back towards the tower and then heading over to the right looking for Sinusher. Good two-man taunt coming out from Jumpa, but good, nice meatball and the fearless into the wall. He can't get away. Now Sinister looking worse for wear. And this is the worst thing about Most Wanted. He's trying to pick them off is the problem. Their escape ability is very strong. I say that, but Transonics is caught out by Keegs in the mid lane there, and he'll be able to walk away. Keegs managing to pick up Transonics and will slow Most Wanted's advance down for a moment. Keegs putting himself on the board now. 1-1-1, one, one, and one, helping out with the team and finally starting to try to get that Kronos, the momentum that it, that it requires and deserves. The one issue they've got as well is the fact that the one person they want to get after is Transonics. They need to kill Transonics consistently. Other than that kill onto him there, how else are they going to get to him? Because if you put tear onto him, he's going to agility through the fearless. That's what we saw in the last engagement. Yep. You can agility out of that fearless combo. And if tear can't lock down the Jing Wei, who is going to get there? Nobody is. Nox is going to play very passive at the back. Keegs is going to have to run very deep every time to go after him, which means Jing Wei is going to have a free farm and free damage in day on the back line. It's a little bit of deja vu coming out from the last game. And things didn't happen until Transonics was off of the board. And I mean, and it works out for Most Wanted because looking at, I mean, it works out for Elevate because looking at their team comp, they only have Truancy and Keegs to really dish out the damage right now, trying to dish out onto Truancy, forcing out that Sanctuary, but they're still in close proximity. Sinosher going to get credit for the kill. Oh, and the epic up cut missed there from ripping holes because the taunt lasted a second longer than expected. So unfortunate error from Elevate there. And once again, Truth is just not this this knocks isn't working. We know that now, you know, we can say it. Zero one zero. Look at his gold compared to that of Clow in the mid lane here. He's not been able to get involved in the game whatsoever. Yes, he's done some okay damage, but it's never going to result in a kill right now. It's just too dependent on A, having people with you, having some kind of wombo combo ability with the rest of your teammates, and B, 
these big team fights and we don't see these big team fights. I will see a pick on Keeks though potentially happening here, but not after that meatball pushing him back. We'll get the Athena all in response though. I do like the composition from Elevate though. The, the, the idea of bringing the Nox on here with two Guardians is to protect it more, to allow it to facilitate all that damage. The only issue is, is that it has to get online early. And if you fall behind, it makes it very difficult to deal with. Most Wanted putting the damage onto Gold Fury, but instead, Going to go ahead and unleash it. Elevate sniffing around. Jumpa going to get a nice taunt onto Koi's. A little bit of damage forcing him into the ultimate. So what you saw there was Nequid teleport in from solo lane. Wolves asked his team, do you need me? And they went, no, we're out. It's fine. So Wolves stays in solo lane. He holds his teleport as well. Next time, that means that now Nequid has to rotate to the Gold Fury fight or lose his tier two tower. Both evils. Better communication coming out from Most Wanted. I love the call. And now he's putting pressure onto this Tier 2 yep. tower. Nobody's over there. They're going to have to back. The only one rotating, Jumpa. Now, Athena going there is a wise idea. That allows Nequa to stay in the fight with the Lawbringer. And look at Cloud. Cloud jumping over with the Lawbringer, fearlessing into the fearlessing into the wall, trying to backfire to get out of dodge. And Transonics bringing in a lovely agility to keep Nickwood off of the teammate. Featherstep going to do a bit of damage, but he's going to charge right back to ripping holes. Lovely decision from Cloud there. And I didn't want to say lovely at first, but he didn't use any of his relics in that little skirmish in the jungle there. So that was an ult used by Nickwood for absolutely nothing. There was no investment made by most wanted at all, which works out well for them. Cloud can go back to base, come back to the fight, still have both his relics up. How is Wolves still being able to get away with this? Jumpa was coming over earlier. How has he been able to do this so long? I mean, for the most part, he's playing Raven as well. Level 18, you can see he's in a very good position. Jumpa can't kill him 1v1. Not many people can kill a Raven 1v1, if any, apart from a Hunter late game. But he can box your whole team at the same time. I mean, as we're seeing that right now, 1v4. Sinister leaving him to do his own thing while the rest of the team goes to the Gold Fury. It's literally a bait and switch. But Gold Fury going to get leashed, but they bring it back before it gains too much health back. But Rip and Holes coming through with the Athena ultimate. They want to get it away from the Gold Fury so that damage doesn't steal it through. The airstrike coming through, and that's what's going to be able to take it for Most Wanted again. Yeah, Most Wanted get that Gold Fury. Flip back in his holes now, and Holes in trouble, but they're not looking at him. They're looking at the rest of the team of Elevate. The main focus is Nequid right now, at least from Simon shows the Meditate comes through too. Nequid one hit from Death, Tail Whip will do it. And now Keegs is on the run. No rewind available. Wolves is on him. Meatball gonna knock him away, but still Wolves closing the gap. And Keegs is just inching forward, but Wolves only needs one more hit and he's gonna find it. Jumpa trying to find the taunts, but instead gonna have to charge away to save his life. Tier two tower getting aggressed on in the mid lane. And that will be a free tier two as well. With three members dead though, Nox about to come back up. They could try and force a Phoenix if they want to, but I'd rather them just look for the tier two towers Maybe on the right side, it's already half health. They're sitting nice and pretty. I didn't realize it was this bad. 10 and 2, 20 minutes and 50 seconds in, 14, almost 15,000 experience. Well, it was what? 11,000 gold. It was 6 and 0 oh, like 10 minutes in. And it's just yeah. continued that way. There's just no damage confirmation from Elevate. So there's damage confirmation, but there's no actual damage that is actually available for this team. That's the problem. There's no burst that's available for them. It's sustained damage, not burst. And when Keeg's mate is off the board, it all comes down to Truancy. And Truancy can pump out a good bit of damage, but only if that Nox can hit the abilities. Has someone helping her facilitate this to make it happen? That's true. And that's the problem they're having right now, especially with that last engagement going the way of Most Wanted. That lead is almost monumental now, only one tier two tower remaining. I'm most wondering what they should be looking to do now is probably send Wolves over to the left hand side to just keep somebody busy again and start to siege up the fire giant. See if they can get the teleport again out of Nikwed, who will go over to defend against Wolves first of all. Then see if they can get the Athena rule as well out of Jumper. And then that means Wolves will get a free tier two tower for absolutely nothing. We've seen it baited out a couple of times. Sonisher waiting around this corner, but sees Jumper wanting to go for true and decided against it. My question to you is, how how, how close could it be for Elevate to try, steal this Fire Giant, and then maybe get back in the game? Well, they've got an Athena, and Athena with the taunt available to it can buy a lot of time, as well as Wrath. If you don't know, she has picked up Wrath as well here. So the Jumper has the ability to steal away the Fire Giant. The problem will be, though, is that if you notice, he's very low level right now, and that comes down to the fact that he has been babysitting Truancy so hard in mid that they two have been a, a, a pair together. And by being a pair, they've both got behind in farm now. 
And there's not much he can really do. Shinosher coming through, boxing three members, and he's still holding his own. The Vulcan Ultimate coming through, but it's not going to connect with anybody from Elevate. And instead, they're going to try and come in and aggress some more. Most Wanted going to go ahead and back off. But they get while they wide, which was the Athena Ultimate across this side of the map as well. Nequet still has his, though, so he will get a tier one tower on the right-hand side here. But now all members of Most Wanted group it up on the left and going to get Keegs' rewind into an awkward spot. Nope. Just lying. Rewind eight seconds. It would have been close, but Nick would going to find a beautiful, nice spot beautiful. onto Shiner. Sure, he needs one more hit, but instead, Shiner's sure going to be able to get out. As soon as he hops on Suku, a wheelish is going to be gone. Just no kill confirmation. Nick would does pick up Shiner, sure, though, but now in trouble. Instead, his jumper is slightly tanky, but how tanky? Nice. Not to get away from the gust. Two man agility going to be able to knock them back up and then rip in holes, getting all the damage. The passive is down, and Wolf's going to get credit for the kill. Transonics in the back line, dishing out so much. Magma Bomb not going to connect, and Matt Coy is not going to be able to pluck back Truancy. That's fine, though. You can still go for the Tier 2 tower, and that's what we're really here for more often than not. Trying to pick it up, all the kills at the same time. Tier 2 is going down, but Transonics towards blood. Nickwood it just keeps dancing. He's trying to keep himself alive, but Transonics does not want to have that any longer. Forcing out his own purification, and the ultimate Truancy is so low, and Wolves going to be able to find Nickwood at least, but that's going to be one hit coming out from the tower, and uh -oh. King's getting credit for Wolves. Messy fight for most one in another oh, no. elevator. Gonna punish them and Keegs is getting a couple of kills from that fight, which was all honestly that fight was fine for most one until Transonics went in. He used his gust and agility to get towards Nequed, and at that moment he knew because Athena appeared, taunted him at the same time, and it just allowed Elevate to stay in this game. And the bad news is they can't get to the fire giant in time. Is that really the first time that most wanted have been really punished for being aggressive? Yeah, that was, that was them diving too deep, and they couldn't make a decision between getting the tower and getting the kill. They kept thinking they could get a kill, and by doing that, they give up the opportunity of getting the tower or the kill, and instead, all die for it instead. Well, they've gotten away with so much this game. We're 24 minutes in, and I feel like it's been so much longer just because most wanted have packed so much it into was this game. It was mainly about kill potential that Elevate had the problem with this game. I said that earlier on. Kill potential was the problem. The difference is, though, is that most wanted to stay in a fight for that long. Well, they're going to be low enough so that kill potential is actually a threat now. They actually have kill potential because of it. Did you see those graphs? You can't even see the dip. You can't even see nope. where Elevate made a dent in Most Wanted with those kills. And instead, I mean, it's going to take so much well, to dethrone them off the snowball. I mean, when all your tier one towers are still up, all your tier two towers are still up, You've not got a Gold Fury taken against you just yet. The Fire Giant hasn't gone down either. And you've not lost any jungle camps either. You kind of expect them to have this big of a lead. Just a little bit, but Cloud having to box with Nick Wood just a bit, but Sinusure pulling in the ultimate and then a disengage. This is fine though. Sinusure is just trying to force things all the time. Yeah. If these boys of Elevate group up, because don't forget they've melee based some of these guys that they've got on their team, at least they're Guardians. If they group up, then Cloud just throws out their ultimate and we'll try and find kills. Well, they're looking for the Gold Fury right now. Kills are in the back of their mind. The zoning coming out from Wolves is going to be able Clean to keep them busy. No steal available. That's going to go to the same team that started it most wanted, continuing to bring their lead. And now they may even find Jumper because of it. Yeah, Jumper uses Dash or he's already dead. Ripping all his cards. He's like, where to go? But what he has has left Keegs alone with Truancy, and they're hiding inside each other. But the problem is, I think both the damage carries are down now, as the Peelers, the Guardians, were not there protecting. There was no rewind available as well. He already used that maybe like five seconds before he died. And now Nickwood trying to sustain his life for as much as possible, but against four members of Most Wanted, he's not going to be able to hold. Neither is the tower or the game. That is going to be game. Surrender vote coming out from Elevate. I, I think you can notice that after that last engagement, the golf here, there was no real way for Elevate to come back into that one. Composition-wise, it looks great on paper, but trying to execute it is very, very difficult against a team like Most Wanted as well. Going to have a tough time doing it. And it's not like it's not like they left them anything on the map. Nope. They took the jungle. They took these objectives. They took their towers. So looking so far, Elevate going to be able to take one game most wanted able to take one game it's going to be a nice split coming out from the both great from elevate though that first game was fantastic for them i'm really pleased to see them get that win and continue their splitting ways still need to work on getting two rows though very important i mean and it's just team synergy and experience yep. going against these teams they haven't fought and uh, they haven't fought each other since week two. No, so a bit of a time between their different patches coming through and things and how teams work it out. I like the ideas from Elevate there in that second game. I wish they would have stuck to something what they did in the first game because it worked so well for them. All right, well, sounds like I got production in my ear. We have Clow online for an interview. How you doing, buddy? Clow. Maybe. Clow. Clow. Clow is the hey, mid lane for up? most what's wanted. Up? There he is. How you doing? <laughs> 
Hopefully Hail. there is. Are you lit, Clow? <laughs> so... Clow, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Are you lit? Hello. 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 Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hello. Hello. I guess it's not going to be an interview then, because Cloud clearly either doesn't Hello? know how to use his microphone or his headset, or he's trying to troll me. Neither one of those is going to work because his ISIS is terrible, isn't it, Cloud? All right, so we don't have Cloud on the line, but we are going to give you some Cloud replays at least. We're going to throw those up here on the screen in just a second while Hindu composes himself, the poor thing. I'm composed. I'm composed. I'm just used to. I'm not sure if he was trolling or he really is lit. I can't decide. It sounded like both. I mean, That's what he was trying to troll as well as be lit, but he had a pretty good game for himself. For the first time ever, his ISIS didn't die every two minutes. I mean, he had some really nice spirit balls. The biggest thing I noticed coming out from Cloud was he utilized the silence a lot too, able to help out, keep team members off of himself, the self peel, as well as the rest of his team. It's just about position for the most part. And his ISIS is pretty dangerous, but you know, with how things have gone with ISIS as of late, it's unusual to see him. His Vulcan game, though, a bit of a different story. He was able to sit at the back and allow Sadashaw to go aggressive once again. And Sadashaw, for me, like I felt like he had a very weird game, Sadashaw, but his idea of going as aggressive as he was actually allowed the focus to not be on Cloud for a change. And he just did what he wanted. Mm -hmm. He just did what he wanted in that Vulcan game. He let everybody else do the heavy work, and then he just sat through meatballs, placed a turret, do what he wanted. Well, with that, we've got one more round left, and it's round two. It'll be back after this break with the final game of North America. Aware versus Kingdom. See you then. Round two. Round two. Thank <laughs> you. 